Hi everybody! Today is New Features Day. Let's first talk about the MCP Meter plugin. Um, for all Linux users, you can use that now. Um, for all not Linux users, we had the problem that the background wasn't displayed, so it was black in the back with a black needle on it. That was not so cool, huh? Okay, um, that's fixed now. You can get the new version on Repack or uh, download the zip file from GitHub again and um, replace your files in the Tucan folder. Um, new functionality. The only function it had yet was uh, it was a monometer like this. And with clicking on the meter, you had a second needle, uh, so you have a stereometer. Now we have a new feature. Um, someone requested that in my uh, YouTube comments. Um, he said, well, it was nice if the meter was scalable so that zero here is not zero in your mixer or zero dBFS. Um, most people track at minus 18 or minus 12 or minus 6 uh, dBFS in peak, uh, just to have more safety headroom. Um, and want the needle to move uh, if there's uh, something going on that their channels. And if they track at low levels or at regular levels, I'd say, uh, the needle won't move that much. So now you can shift click on the meter and you see the little numbers here. Click, 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 click. So we have uh, certain uh, stages. Now it will display 0 dB by minus 6 dB FS. And now by minus 12 and so on. I made a little um, tone generator here um, that will uh, make a, uh, a sinusoid at minus 24 dBFS. And you can see it peaks zero <coughs> in the MCP meter. And uh, after minus 24, you get to the regular mode again by shift clicking. So far, so good. Let's get to the um, reverb plugins. First, I have to um, say a few words about it because um, I recognize people are getting things wrong. And um, keep watching that video. Um, after I uh, said those things, I'll show you a new feature, which many of you might like. So, um, in these plugins, we have these uh, ambient, small room, medium room, hall, plate, buttons. These, or in Lexicon 2, these up here. These are not presets. Some people think that these are just presets. These are um, reverb algorithms. In other words, um, every uh, kind of algorithm you select here is another reverb program running. And uh, the programs differ in the sound. Even though you might uh, dial the uh, same things in here, uh, it will different sound from ambience to small room to medium room. Even though uh, the values keep the same, um, the reverb sound will differ then. And that's uh, the main idea between uh, behind these um, plugins. So that you can make a room sound with a long reverb tail and it still sounds like a room and not like a church. And if you want it to be more like a church, you have to choose big 
and make that longer. So again, these are reverb programs you can choose, not presets. Presets in the lexicon are in the presets section. So you can choose from different algorithms, choose an algorithm, then choose preset from one to five. And then it says um, in the algorithm ambiences, preset two is bright ambience. And then you press recall to recall the bright ambience. Or preset three would be 80s ambience, recall 80s ambience. Presets, algorithms. Okay, <laughs> so um, now about the, no, stop, one thing more. Presets for the Lexicon 2 are in the regular presets list. So you have a lot of nice uh, designed presets for your work. Uh, so you don't have to uh, try too much. Okay, now about the um, new feature. <laughs> Actually, it's not a new feature. It has been there all the time, but you didn't know. I made that for designing the sounds for setting the um, uh, the algorithms. Um, but now I'll tell you, you can click on the E of the logo, which stands for edit, and there's a new feature. And this is the so-called delay line. So this um, plugin uses uh, these delays, each one is a delay, and these are shown here uh, in a timeline from left to right, and you can adjust each of these delays to create new um, kind of algorithms for you. Um, these are not stored uh, in the plugin, so if you press uh, Hall, you get the Hall algorithm. If you press medium room, you get the medium room algorithm and so on. And um, you cannot uh, reassign the algorithms, but if you save a preset yourself, this will be saved as well. Um, and you can leave this mode by clicking on the E again. In Lexicon 2, same thing, click on the E, and here you have um, four delays uh, for the uh, reverb tail and four delays for the early reflections. That's quite advanced stuff. Um, you can try if, uh, if you have fun with that. Uh, some people like it uh, to have the ability uh, to tune things in there. Um, but uh, don't worry if your sound gets metallic or strange. Uh, setting these to a good algorithm that makes a good sound is quite difficult. If you're uh, not so sure what to do there, well, then use some of my uh, well-prepared uh, algorithms I made before and just don't use this option. So far so good. Um, stay tuned. A new great plugin is nearly done and I'll release it um, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after, but um, very soon. Bye bye. <laughs>